hello hello guys hello everyone um i want to show you something so special most of you the streamers there is something i would like to show to you if you know you are streamers and you don't know how to create a streaming studio you know sometimes you can create a streaming studio then people will be we, you know when people are watching your your live streaming they will look it will be an amazing thing how, how did they do that I'm going to be showing you some techniques on how you should do that okay I wanted to take your time if you know today is your first time coming across nasty TV channel I want you to click on the red button subscribe and press the notification bell anytime we upload a video you'll be the first to receive it okay so what we are going to do right now right away we are going to create a studio in any form you can do it on your own way the way you want it but I'm going to be showing you using Microsoft Word okay Microsoft Word and uh, OBS for your streaming okay I just want you to listen um let's do that first and foremost you have to go to your google okay now you are in your google you have to look for a background then we can set um cutting background Brand. let's see if we see correction let us see if we see something like that we go to image let's cut through this is not bad Okay, I think we have one here we can use. I like this. I like this. This is not bad. Look at this. This is beautiful. Okay, now we got one here. We are going to use this as our image background. So we're going to use red. So what you do is just to copy, right click, click on the copy image, then you have to go to your Microsoft Word okay choose a new one. then layout layout then what you have to do here you have to click on layout turn your page around okay good so then you right click in color you have your image here what you have to do is to first and foremost click future formats then click on wrap test to bring it forward then now you can easily move your image left or right the way you want it then you can expand one thing you have to understand here being a professional 
there is something I have to show you without going to to modify it in uh, OBS trying to to you know work again on the, the resolution no it does not serve so you have to enlarge your page the way you want it to be here you can see wow this is a stage is an is, is a kind of office right now so what you need to do here now you've got your background image you will need something like a screen in this place a screen okay uh i'm just going to pick one of the screen i already designed to bring here with a green background what you have to do you have to go to insert then go to image okay we have frame screen i call it frame screen now we have the frame screen here what i need to do is to make sure i bring it in front test then take it to the size you want according to the position you want to place it. place it don't just allow it to over cover everything here then now you have um your image here you have your image screen image now what do you do with this screen you see is a green background maybe you might have your topic there or the name of the program you're having or just a kind of a platform you can exhibit a kind of a, a video you know to entertain people a good background can be a mountain background and all that we'll get to that anyway so now you have your now you have your what is it called your uh, background image here already and this is the screen you want to use so i believe this size is okay for the screen we want to use now we have the whole it's just like you 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 rented an office there is nothing inside and you are trying to fix it and this is how to do it so what you do now you got your screen already now you need a shell what you need is a shell now i'm not going to show you how to pick a shell from google then cut it and all that right now because i'm going to do that in the next video but i just want to quickly run around with this uh, project right now so what i have to do i have to go and pick one of the share i've already um, created so what i have to do is insert then go to picture okay so i have here okay let me use um my streaming shell I need to use my streaming shell okay then i click on one of the share i designed already then bring it forward you can see the shell so i actually pick this shell from google then remove the background and place another green background for me to be able to remove it in obx this with this background so um then what you have to do you can see that with the green covers and all that is covering the the stuff but actually you are not going to place this on this uh, uh what is it called on this platform so what you have to do is to create since we are not going to work on it actually let me just okay layout um blank page no sorry sorry um uh, insert sorry insert insert blank page then you can bring this one here but i just want to show you different format i was going to prepare okay now you have your shell so quickly another 
another page insert another new page again this new page we are going to bring our um our table from the computer so which i already designed this table also just want to make everything quick for you to understand how to create your video now i have my streaming table i already created also so bring it here now you have the table so these are the three things you need to create your office three things you need to create your office we have the table we have um, uh, the shell we have the background and uh, the green screen now what you need to do is to combine them together where in OBS you're going to use OBS as the format we used to stream online okay so what you need to do right now is to save these on the computer side then no since i'm going to use this very background i have to cut it out i use this to to convert my design to png snipping tools so i click on new then cut out my screen all right now i got this this is my screen right now i have to save it with my new office my new office office okay save then i have this i already have all the image of the table and all that so what i have to do is to go out of here then click on your obs This is one of the design I already have inside here and this is kind of design I'm trying to do for you right now. So the next thing you have to do is we are starting afresh for you to understand this new project I did here. So you need to go to a new new one, my new office, my new office office okay now this is this is how it comes up whenever you you enter a new program uh, on OBS now we are going to bring all the design we did here so what you have to do the first thing you have to do the scene you have to change the name of the scene we have the scene we have the sources then we have audio misa and we have a scene transition okay so i'm going to show you the basic easy way you can you know work with your obs what you have to do here first is to change the name of the scene and say my new office just give a name okay rename you go to rename and you said my new office my new office okay now you already create the name my new office then from there you have to add you can see a hard button plus button okay if you are going to uh, remove you can remove from here and this is uh, the setting and if you want to move your project up and down you can use up and down button here so quickly we have to say hard image because we have image background we have to bring here what you need to do is to click on your image and, and call it background 
my new office background image because I have every uh, a lot of uh, uh, name in uh, uh, but images here. So what you have to do, my new office image, my new office image. Then you click on my new office image. Then you click on OK. Then you have to say browse, which means to bring the new office you just designed. You could have quick access. My new office is right here. I click on my new office, then I draw it down here. Wow, just appear so beautiful. You can see it. So you can see the new image here and the screen at the back. So you click OK, then you have it in a four corner because of the resolution we use but all you need to do is to right click then go to transformed from transformed you go to full screen then you click on full screen wow everything just come out okay so what you have to understand about these two screen this is your working part on your obs this is preview part and this is program part so once you are live on screen you can be doing some design once you are live already when people are watching you, you can be trans firing uh, information from here to here that's why they call it quick transit so just for instance i want this one to show why people are watching me online what i would just do is just to draw this here then you appear here and people can easily uh watch my live video while i am working here okay this is my working part and this is my work programming part so we have uh, the image background here already the next step you have to take now is how to remove the green background because you're going to uh, this green is going to allow your um your your background image to to be transparent in case you are adding a screen at the background so what you need to do is to right click then go to filter then on your filter left uh down left you see your plus button you click then you now go to chroma key chroma key makes your green background to be to to be tra uh, transmitted okay so you click on chrome my key then you said okay wow you can see the green just disappear then you have to also click again then you go to color correction in case you want to uh, correct the the color you had that another one i choose only this three i use this three color key then you have to also choose the color key this three program will allow you to work on this particular uh, screen then what you need to do is to close then you have your screen disappear right now then you now have uh, a transparent uh, screen so anything can come here your image can come here your video any information you want to put, put on your stuff can be here so we are building the tv screen now for you okay so right now what you need to do is to bring your share now you have your office you have your screen is to bring your share here then you click on the plus button and you go to your image then you said my new office chair my new office chair all right then once you're there you press ok go to browse then select the file from your document you can see here i have um, two shares here okay i would like to use my stream share okay let me use this i like this share wow because it's red also this is good this is good the format and everything is okay wow so you see now is covering everything because it has a green background what we have to do because i told you this green background allow you to transparent your image so to look through 
So what you need to do now is to right click, right click, then go to feature. No, I'm sorry, I'm uh, uh, the shelf. Sorry. So right click, go to feature. Then you see your screen here. Left, right, plus button. Then you click. Then Chrome key. Said OK. Everything disappear immediately. That is what Chrome key does. Then color correction. You had it in, in case you want to change the color. Then do the same for color key. Then you had the image ready. Then close. Everything is already here. So you can see the shell. You just bought a new shell. Then where are you going to put a shell? You can choose to put it here. You can choose to put it there to make it small. You know. Now proportions matter when you never you are doing this uh, design proportion that is where the artist is so most people you see their cam their video their object one will be bigger than one there is no proportion easily so what you need to do is to make sure everything is in proportion is in a good position now you can make this chair sit now you can see the space this chair is sitting down right now okay then you can easily make it more smaller or more bigger more smaller would be better for you to have a space in your office and all that so we are here we bought a new shell so the next thing you have to do you have to take it to the program site for you to know what you are doing Okay, now you can see it here. You have your office chair ready. You have your screen and all that. So what next do you want? You want your uh, table. Now we need the table. Okay. The same system. You had plus button, go to image, then said my new office table. My new office table okay now click ok then go to browse go and get the table now i got this table here click open wow this table appear normally i love a table like this with a kind of uh blue light shining from the inside like from the glass you know it looks so beautiful and it has a kind of cover space you understand so click ok then you're going to do the same thing to remove the background by clicking on right on right button on your mouse then click on the feature screen chroma key then you remove the background okay then this one because it's good you change the color a little color key wow now you have it set you say close then you just bought a table and your table is just at the top so what will you do you need to bring your table down a little to bring your table down wow this is unique look how beautiful it is you can see that yourself oh boy okay now you have your table your table is set your share is set then let us take it to the other side to the programming side wow look at it look how beautiful it is can you see that wow this is beautiful this is beautiful then the next thing now you have to do everything is set come on give it light it's something you know movable to the background you need to put something you know movable or something stable to make it unique somehow which is your tv your wall uh, you need to add image to this it can be on a video format or an image format okay 
so what you have to do now is to go ahead and click on plus 14 let us add media source so to, for you to add image you have to click on media source click on media source i'm going to name this my screen video my new office my new office screen video video okay now press ok browse let us put video here i think we have video to place here wow we have i love this image this video very much this uh, beautiful amazing short natural video okay uh, downloaded then what you just do is to click on it then um to, to open okay the video is already here what you have to do is to press the loop this loop allow your video to repeat and all that okay then you click ok where is the video then you click here try to trans oh the video is right here then you can see the video is covering the, the full screen so you can draw it to size by taking it from the hand angle then draw it to the size of your what your screen okay this is amazing so beautiful I love this okay now we are here okay but you can see that your screen your background screen is covering your shell okay so you're going to make use of this button up and down so we are clicking on the video right now what you need to do is to click on down button to make the video go back first click okay that is back of the table another key back of the chair okay now it's not back of the chair and it's in the front of the background we don't need it in the front of the background because we have uh, a string that we want it to be under it so you click again wow now it's now under the um, background image you see how beautiful it is let us trans means look at the transition how beautiful it is wow listen this is beautiful the next step i'm going to show to you on this video is how you should add your webcam to it and you know and uh, sit down in this particular shell while you are there people will think is real you understand so very easy if you know you've not subscribed to my channel i want you to do that right now because the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how you should add your webcam to this live screen that will make you to sit down here, you know, you can stand and you can walk around, people will feel you just, is real, that is what people will feel, okay, you can decide to add flowers and so many things. So. I want to thank you for your time and for your patience please you can click on the notification bell anytime i upload a new video then you will know that new items arrive so and uh, i want you to also um share to your friends you know many because mainly these videos are for those who are streaming and they don't know how it goes very easy and you can see our number there then you can also call us contact us on email if you want help and you want designs like these on your live stream or you want a tutorial you can also contact us i want you to stay cool and enjoy your streaming bye for now